What's up, everybody? I'm back, XCOD fan. And I want to talk about all the confusion that's been happening with Metal Gear Solid 5 and Ground Zeroes and all, pretty much answer all the confusing questions and all the things people are not sure about. Like, why is this happening? Why is that happening? All right, before I begin, though, I just want to start out by saying I'm a huge Metal Gear fan. Uh, Metal Gear was the first game I've ever played in, like, my entire life. Like, it pretty much got me into gaming. And I have, like, a lot of shit. Let me show you my little collection. Uh, first, I have the box, the Metal Gear Rising box. Or whatnot. I have the Metal Gear Software Strategy Guide. Where is it? Got the Metal Gear Rising art book. Move. Metal Gear Rising art book. I have a lot of shit. But yeah, um, uh, pretty much. The reason, like, first I mean to say the price. The price for Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. It's going to be $30. $30 on PS4. $30 on Xbox One. $360 PS3. $30. I'm not sure if it's gonna come out on PC. Nobody is, for, but for right now, it's not confirmed for P for PC. Everybody would like it to be, uh, but yeah, yeah. So why I, people ask me questions? All right, why, like, why separate both the games? Why have Metal Gear Ground Zeroes and then Metal Gear Solid Five Peace Walker? Well, the the reason is, and Kojima said this himself. He said because they're still working on the Phantom Pain. The, the Phantom Pain world is huge. It's an open world game. And it, it's extremely huge. It's 200 times the size of Metal Gear Ground Zeroes. And Kojima said that he wants to put something out there now. Because it's not going to be done in a while. And they don't want to just leave people with nothing. So he's bringing out Metal Gear Ground Zeroes. Which is coming out in 9 days. Well, let's see. People also say like, oh, oh yeah, and, and the pricing. I'm not. I wasn't done with that. <laughs> the digital price for Metal Gear Ground Zero so on PS3 and 360 and all these systems is gonna be twenty dollars. Now the reason why the retail price is thirty dollars and the digital price is twenty dollars is because if you buy the retail price, you get extra DLC that will follow you all the way to the Phantom Pain. Now the Phantom Pain might not be done in a years time. I'm giving my guess. I'd say a year. 2015, E3, or whatever, that's when the game's gonna get a release date, you know. The game is huge. Kojima keeps stressing this. It's huge. He's even worried about people not being able to finish the game because it's so huge. It's 200 the size of Ground Zeroes. <laughs> that's crazy right there. Alright, uh... But yeah, you know, uh, another confusing thing people keep saying is like, why does it exist? Why does Metal Gear F Ground Zeroes exist? Like, I watched the IGN uh, up at noon, and I forgot his name. Ugh, it was a guy sitting next to Greg. It starts with a J, I forgot. But he's asking, why does this exist? And my response is, you know, business purposes, you know. I feel like if they don't put something out there, they just keep giving out little tidbits of information, people will be like, you know what? The hype's gone. The hype's gone. I'm going to move on to other things. You know, people are not going to be hyped for it. And at the same time, they need money. So, you know, like Greg said, they put out, you know, they, they needed millions of dollars for this game. And I guess Konami wants to make a return on it. They want to make a profit. And that's understandable. You can't hate them for that. You know, Ground, Ground Zero's come out in nine days, you know. You know, people are frustrated because they say, oh, we're paying for a glorified demo. Because the main campaign is two hours long. And you know what? It, it probably is. It probably is for an average person two hours long. But on the good note is, like, all the side ops and all the, the new missions, all the routes you can find in all the side missions, all the main missions, and all the different things you can do, and, and including rank, you know, since this game is pretty much like Peace Walker, which I have here, it's, it's, it's pretty much like Peace Walker. 
So you you have a bunch of missions. And to get A rank on those missions are hard as hell. They're hard. You know, you can think of Ground Zero as Metal Gear Peace Walker 2.0. But yeah, you know. Well, what, what do you guys think? Do you guys, like, like this decision? You know, put something out now. You know, put, like, like, like the main dish out in a year and just have, like, side dish, which is Ground Zeroes for now. Or you think it's stupid that, you know, they have two separate parts, but they each make up the whole game in general. What do you guys think? Post in the comments. It's XCOD Fan 543, and I'm out of here.